But select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. What we've been talking about are principles that should govern a nation. This is describing the kind of person should, who should be that servant leader. I want to read you a story from the book of Judges. And I think as I read it, you will recognize that this perfectly describes what happens today. Judges 9, 8. Once the trees went forth to anoint a king over them, and they said to the olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree said to them, Shall I leave my fatness with which God and men are honored, and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the fig tree, You, come reign over us. But the tree, fig tree said to them, Shall I leave my sweetness and my good fruit, and go to wave over the trees? Then the trees said to the vine, You, come reign over us. But the vine said to them, Shall I leave my new wine, which cheers God and men, and go to wave over the trees? Finally, all the trees said to the bramble, You come, reign over us. The bramble said to the trees, If in truth you are anointing me as king over you, come and take refuge in my shade. But if not, may fire come out from the bramble and consume the cedars of Lebanon. What does this sound like today? Do we have good trees in these positions of authority or do we have brambles? Brambles, of course, are your thorn bushes. Essentially, we've asked good people to serve us in these positions of leadership. We've asked the, uh, the olive tree and the fig tree and the vine, come serve us. In other words, we've wanted productive, good individuals to go and serve in the halls of Congress, to go to City Hall and to serve in Richmond. But they said, sorry, I'm too busy. Shall I leave my fatness, which God and men are honored, to go wave over the trees? In other words, they were actually productive humans. In other words, we actually want productive individuals to go serve us. These are the best ones. People that are actually engaging in business. People that actually know how to handle money. These are the productive, beneficial, good people in society. And yet what often happens when we ask someone in the church who's like this to serve? What's one of the responses you may hear? What do people typically say about, about politics? What do they say? In other words, it's a dirty business, right? I say, oh, I hate politics. Oh, it's so slimy. All those people in there are just backstabbing jerks and... I don't want to get involved in that. Leave that for the bramble. In other words, the good people, the productive people amongst us have stayed out of public service. So who are we left with? The prickly ones. The thorn bushes, the bramble. And this is not pleasant. He says, come and take refuge in my shade. How pleasant and shady is taking refuge under a thorn, a thorn bush. Doesn't sound nice at all. I don't want to do that on any spring afternoon. And he said, and, and if you uh, don't, may fire come out from the bramble and consume the cedars of Lebanon. So this is not a pleasant experience being ruled over by this bramble, by this thorn bush. And yet that's who we're left with today. So the point is, is that as Exodus tells us, we need to select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over us. So what we need to start doing is looking around us, and this doesn't just have to be men, but essentially look around. Look in the people in the communities that you've uh, dealt with, look in your churches, and say, who have I been dealing with who fears God? In other words, who knows they're not the highest, you know, the highest rung on the ladder. You need people that know there's an authority over them to be an authority over us. Who do I know that fears God? Who is a trustworthy person? Uh, who hates dishonest gain? Who has sacrificed their own profits because it was the right thing, because of their word? 
So we need to start looking around us and identifying people who are being productive, who are trustworthy, who hate dishonest gain, who fear the Lord. And we need to start thinking, maybe they're the ones. And we need to pray about and consider asking them, would you go and serve? Would you go and be the one? See, I turn that around a little bit. Because if I, if I think more about what you read, it really should be for the person that is the seer. It really should be the person that is the fig. To look at that and go, you know, unless I want the bramble, I should be willing to serve. That's right. That's the bigger, that's the greater calling. But in our own selfishness, if we're that type of person, we don't want to leave the comforts or whatever it is, like you said, to get uh, engaged in something that is, you know, maybe not as sweet or as, that's right. or as nice. And if we don't, we are going to be left with That's right. Bramble. That's right. Well, yeah, like you say, there's two sides of it. In other words, we need to be looking around and saying, who are those people? But if we're approached, if someone comes to us and says, we see you're honorable, we see you're godly, we see that you hate dishonest gain, you're trustworthy, you do the right thing even when it hurts, we need to be able to say, I'll think about it and I'll pray about it. Because if not, even the good trees in this scenario are ruled over by the bramble. So just because you stay out of it to lead your productive life doesn't mean you're sheltered somehow from the pain of being ruled over by the bramble. So really, we need to start looking around and asking ourselves, who would be that good servant leader? But if we're asked, we need to say, maybe I'll pray about it, maybe I'll think about it, maybe I'll go. And we're all going to have reasons because these are all productive trees. These are all good, productive members of society. When we think about George Washington, he didn't want to go you know, be the general. He didn't want to go serve as, as the, the head of the Continental Congress. He didn't want to go be president. He wanted to stay home and be with Martha at, Mar uh, at, at the Mount Vernon. He didn't want to go, but he did because of duty. He said, I'm going to do it. And so that's the kind of people we need. We need people who would rather not be there, but who serve out of duty. And because it's better to serve as a good person than to be served over or led over by those prickly people, by those brambles, who is what we're left with if the good people don't serve.